Good Thursday morning. I'm Lynn Bowie. It is 855 and 62 degrees. Marty. And, you know, I'm still looking at a forecast that says plenty of clouds, a shower, and some drizzle, but the computer, as we mentioned about an hour ago, is now said, let's throw in a little bit of sun with the highest 74, but it's kept this easterly component in. So let's just see how it squares away as we move through the day. All right, Sharon Jabal, let's wrap up that commute. Take it away. Hi, Marty. Good morning, everyone. If you are just about to head out, new problem on the west side of the Beltway where we already had some pretty big delays. Disabled vehicle on the inner loop at 695 at Frederick Road. On the top side of the Beltway, we've actually improved a bit, up to 29 miles per hour. We were down to 13. A slight improvement on the west side of the Beltway, up from 16 miles per hour to 18 there. That's a look at the top side of the Beltway, crawling along there in Towson. And there's a look at the west side of the Beltway. Way at Liberty Road. Lynn. A deadly three alarm fire broke out in Harford County overnight, and right now the cause is still under investigation. Mike Shu reports from the scene in Edgewood. Good morning. A three alarm fire here kills three, sends three to the hospital, and three survive by running out of the basement. One of those survivors tells me she heard the smoke detector and the screams of her neighbors, grabbed her dog, and gone out. She says two women and a man on the third floor died. One man jumped from the third floor and broke his legs. Another person has burns over 70% of their body. The survivor says that this is a boarding house for the disabled. I'm Mike Shue reporting from Edgewood for WJZ. You can always get more online by visiting us at WJZ.com. It is 8.56. Have a great Thursday.